so you messed up and let us see the Zion alley oop in practice, so we got to ask you about it now. Trust me, I didn't die. That, that was not my intention. Okay? So, so, I mean, how many moments have, like, have you seen, so the past two days, have you seen where you just kind of say, whoa, you know, he's kind of standing out? Yeah, I, like I said, he has a lot of moments like that, you know, but uh, there's other guys that do too, you know, I mean. Uh, uh, Nico Melli, I don't know if he missed a shot today, so, you know. Uh, and, and there's other guys, you know. Like I said, I think Josh Gray has played, played well, but, you know, obviously Zion has the ability to make the UI plays, and, you know, he, he, he'll make a few of them every practice and stuff. And Lonzo was the one that made that pass. Do you see them kind of developing the chemistry already? Uh, I just think Lonzo is a very good passer, you know, and I think he's going to put the ball where anybody wants it to. He, he and Drew got good chemistry also as far as pitching ahead. And, you know, when we're trying to be a fast-paced team, uh, he's very good at getting the ball to people. And uh, uh, he's very good at reading the defense and finding open guys, especially uh, when we're trying to pitch way ahead. Are you planning on doing anything uh, training camp or maybe after training camp to build some camaraderie outside of practice? Yeah, we'll do things, you know, uh, we'll have a couple of things, you know, we already had a uh, team dinner and then we'll do some other things, some pretty fun things, uh, maybe, you know, go over and play flag football in the facility, the Saints facility or something, but, you know, we'll do some things that, 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 that will come together. Could you talked about how yesterday you guys really concentrated on the defense and on conditioning. Did you do introduce anything uh, new today? Oh, we still, I mean, we introduced something every day. And, you know, we did some offensive things and then uh, talked a little bit about end of the game situations defensively and, you know, uh, clock and, and point situations. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to do that throughout, you know, until we uh, get to the regular season. And then we'll still have stuff that we'll have to do. And, have to manage in those situations also. Are you happy with the progress you've seen so far, Coach? Yeah, I am happy with the progress. You know, we, uh, we've got a lot of guys, but I think we've, we're, like I said, I think we're going to be a deep team, so uh, it's very, very competitive out here. Lonzo's shot looks a little bit different. How much has he been in here working? It looks a little bit more. Oh, he's, worked his, he's worked his butt off, and, uh, you know, Fred is really good at it. I think Fred, you know, you go back and look and at, 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 at some of the things that he's done, you know, he took Tyreek Evans and made him almost a 39% three-point shooter when he was shooting 27. And, uh, you know, he's done it with other guys. And uh, and I think Lonzo's shooting the ball well. And I told him, well, you know, part of his, uh, the, the major part of his thing is confidence, you know, and consistency. You know, you can be a great golfer without having Tiger Woods golf swing, you know. So he, he, the, the, the most important thing for him is that you know, he shoots it consistently the same way, and I think that's what he's working on. Did you get any pushback from him on changing his shot? I mean, he's got Well, we score. didn't really change it. That's what I'm saying. We didn't change it. You know, we just trying to develop a uh, consistency that he's shooting it with all the time. And I think if you do that, then he gets the confidence to think that, uh, that, that it's going to go in most of the time. And that's what we're trying to get it to. You talked about this a little bit before, but how much does a guard like him, him with that skill set kind of fit exactly into what you want to do in your system? Well, you know, I, I think if you're a willing passer and, uh, uh, you know, you kind of know the game. I thought, you know, if you look back and see what Alfred, the way Alfred Payton played for us, you know, he was a willing passer and came in and fit right into the system. And I think, you know, Zoe is a, 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 a one of those guys that is a willing passer, wants to pass it, uh, does a good job of pushing it, got great size, uh, uh, really uh, he's well aware of like angles and defense and stuff like that. So uh, I think he's going to be a big asset to us and what we're trying to do. What about uh, again, B out of day too. So what have you seen from him so far in camp? Just a real, real solid player, you know, a really good defender that can defend multiple positions. Uh, he continues to work on his shot also, you know, uh, with Fred, uh, developing consistency. I think he can shoot it. With three-point range, you just got to develop the consistency to do it, uh, you know, time and time again. But, you know, I've been happy with him and the progress that he's made and, and, and with all of these guys. I think all of them has shown that they worked this summer and uh, uh, they came into camp pretty in pretty good shape. And they came into camp with, I think, an enthusiasm and, uh, and a willingness to, to do whatever to try to put us in a position so we can become a, a winning team and, and sustain that and sustain that win. Uh,